I'm struggling as a solo agent and need to learn more about the business. Should I join a team and reduce my split to 50-50 or get a mentor and keep going at it on my own? I think this is going to be very helpful for everyone watching regardless of where you are in your real estate career. This question is important because there's two ways this person can go. They can join a team or they can get a mentor. And what I'm going to tell you is if you're struggling, I don't want you to think the quick fix or the, 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 the problem is going to be solved by you doing one or the other. I can be someone who is not coachable and get a mentor and suck. It's a, a true fact. True fact. I had a coach, but I'm very coachable. If I was not coachable, my coach would not have been effective for me, right? I can join a team. You said you want to join a team, maybe take a 50-50 split. I can join a team tomorrow and I can suck because guess what? It could be the wrong team. What's the value the team's bringing? I think we all get caught up and think that if I join a team tomorrow, I can do more business. Or if I get a mentor tomorrow, I can do more business. That's not the case. The case is this, is I think you need to do a little self-auditing and audit yourself and go, how much work am I willing to put into this, right? How much do I want to make? What are my true goals? Do I want to buy a house? Do I want to take my family around the world or go to Disneyland? Whatever it is, what are your goals? And focus on that why and then make a logical decision. Just joining a team, you're not going to do well. It, you could, but it's not going to be a quick flip a switch and just going to be a men- with a mentor is not going to be the same. I can tell you I succeeded with a coach and a mentor because I'm very coachable. I had a why and I was hungry, right? But guess what? When I got rid of my coach, I was still hungry. I still had a why. They were the path and the guide to success. But I was, the, I was part of the reason. So my question to you would be, is how bad do you want this? That's the first question. How bad do you want this? If you want it bad enough and you want, and and you're willing to put in the work, I can tell you right now, a team's going to be great if you don't want to generate business. And that's if the team's going to provide business for you, not, not the, not, not the majority. Um, you know, this is a, this is a struggle for me to answer. And I, I hope it helps a lot of you guys because I think we all look for quick fixes. I think we all look for the yin yang, which way should I go? And I think we need to sometimes take a look in the mirror and and think about uh, what's gonna work for us because there's no quick fix in this business.